Today, we're going to learn how to use the list data structure, specifically how to modify the elements in a list using an iterator, erase, and insert. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. We can add, remove, and modify elements in a list in much the same way we do with vector. The difference is with vector, we primarily add and remove onto the end of the, the vector, but with a list, we can add and remove from the middle, and we can do so in an efficient way. This video is going to demonstrate how to do that. We're going to start with the text E, D, O, and capital C, and we're going to push them into the front of the list one at a time using push front. Now note, when I use push front, I push things in the opposite order. So E, D, O, C becomes C, O, D, E. Next, I'm going to create an iterator, which points to the first element in the list. Then I'm going to advance it by two. So now it's not going to point to the C or the O, but it's rather it's going to point to the D. I'm going to highlight the D to indicate that we have access to it. Now, using the dereference operator of the iterator, I'm going to change the value of D to R. I can change my iterator by moving back by one using the minus minus operator. So now I'm referring to the O. And then I'm going to change the O to a, a lowercase a using once again the dereference operator for the iterator. Now I can erase a given element in the list by passing an iterator to the item to be erased. And which element am I going to erase? The begin element. I can also access the last element with the R begin iterator. And I can, when I use the insert method, insert will insert a new node before the one that I'm pointing to. In this case, I'm going to put an M before the E. Now, if this was a vector, then adding an element to the middle would require shifting everything after it over by one slot. But with a list, it's not that way. I'm just going to add a new node and hook up the pointers because the underlying data structure of a list is a linked list. Notice how the iterator will still point to the E. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the element that the iterator points to. In this case, it's going to point to the E, so that's going to leave me with ARM. This is example 9.4 in the C++ Data Structures textbook.